Today we're going to talk about how to make a simple portfolio rebalancing spreadsheet. This is a critical task if you're needing to manage your own money and have no idea how much you have in any given asset class and need to be able to sort that out yourself. So the first thing you do is you go to your spreadsheet of choice. I prefer using Microsoft Excel. So let's open that up and we'll open up a new workbook. All right, so now we have a blank spreadsheet in front of us. If you've never used a spreadsheet before, you see all kinds of buttons that may be confusing there. But the basic format is that you have rows that are numbered down the left-hand side, and you have columns uh, marked with letters across the top of the spreadsheet. And so when you're going to make a portfolio rebalancing spreadsheet, you may want to make the columns of different widths. You may want to make the rows of different heights. And so you can do that at the sides as I show you there. But basically, if you want to make a portfolio rebalancing spreadsheet, you need to put various columns in there. You're going to want to have your asset classes lifted, listed in your leftmost column. Your next column may be your desired percentage that you want in any given asset class. Next would be your assets, how much is actually in there. Then the current percentage that you have in each of those uh, asset classes. Next, your desired amount of assets uh, for your portfolio in that asset class. And then finally, the difference between what you have and what you want in there. And so you can sort that out. But let's look at a relatively simple portfolio. We'll look at one with five separate asset classes. For example, we'll have US stocks, we'll have international stocks, We'll have bonds, real estate, let's say gold, and then of course your total. In your next column, you want your percentages. So let's say 30% US stocks, 25% international, 25% bonds, 15% real estate, and 5% gold. So to total that, you put in equals, sum, and then you highlight the cells you want summed, that you want added together. That'll give you the total. Obviously, you want them to add to 100%. Now, if you want, you can uh, make all of these uh, columns centered, if you like. You just hit the center button there, and that makes it a little bit prettier as well. You can uh, make that column smaller. If you want to make it uh, even smaller, you can wrap the text so it shows up on two lines. In your next category, uh, it's probably easiest to just put this in manually. Um, but you basically go and you look at your, each of your investment accounts and you add up how much you have in any given asset class. Um, for example, if you only had US stocks in one account, you just go there, your 401k or whatever it is, and you get the value. Uh, let's say for our purposes that it's $87,231. Totally just made that up. If you want that to be a dollar amount, you can do that. If you don't want to look at the pennies, you can do that and take them out of there. So let's say you have 60,872 um, dollars in international stocks. Again, let's make that dollar amounts. Let's apply that formatting to all of these cells. Um, and then we'll put in 58,894 in the bonds, 45,992 in real estate and 15,442 in gold. So then you need to total those. Again, uh, since we already set up a sum function here, we can just copy this and paste it here, if you like. Of course, that needs to be a dollar uh, amount. And so again, that shows us we have $268,431 in the portfolio. Okay, so where do you get the current percentage from? Well, you basically want to look at the amount of money you have in that asset class and divide it by the total amount of money you have. So that would be equal, that's C2, you can just click on it or you can type it in, divided by C7. Now, in order to make things easier, here's a little shortcut. If you put a dollar sign before the C and before the seven there, or the seven, so it looks like that, you can then copy and paste this all the way down the column. And what that will do is it will hold the uh, value at the bottom 
constant and the value at the top, it will vary according to the row. And of course, we probably want these to be percentages, so let's change those to percentages. And again, we can center them to make them pretty. If we want more uh, data there, we can increase that here, so it gives us uh, our current percentages. Now, once we have that, we can look at our desired assets. Now, if we desire 30% of our portfolio in uh, US stocks, well, click on that and multiply it again by the total amount in the portfolio. So, B2 times C7. And again, let's put those dollar signs in there so that C7 is held constant when we copy and paste. Then, of course, you can copy and paste all the way down here. And once more, we can set that up as dollars. Now, all that's left is to calculate the difference. So the difference is very simple. It's going to end up being what you have in there minus what you want in there. So the difference here is 6,702. In fact, maybe we'll do that the opposite way, E2 minus C2. That way it tells us that if we want a perfectly balanced portfolio, if we want 30% of our US stocks in there, then we need to subtract $6,702 from US stocks and move it elsewhere. And we can, of course, copy and paste that all the way down the column. And that tells us uh, essentially that we need to take $6,700 out of US stocks, add $6,200 to international stocks, add $8,200 to bonds, subtract $5,700 from real estate, and subtract $2,000 from gold in order to have a rebalanced portfolio. Very, very simple. Now there's other things that you can do to make it a little bit more complicated if you like. For example, if you want uh, the spreadsheet to highlight the asset classes that need to re be rebalanced, here's one way that you can do that. You can go to this column, the per current percentages, and you can simply change them all to red text. Okay, and then you set up conditional rules. So let's set one up for here. Let's say if the number is between 25% and 35%, we want it to be green. Otherwise, it's red, meaning it's outside of that range and needs to be rebalanced. So click on that cell. Let's conditionally format it. So that means we go to highlight cell rules and we go to the between rule. And we say if it is between 25% and 35%, we want it to turn green. So let's custom format it. Uh, let's change it to green text. And let's turn the fill off and apply that rule. And as you can see, that turns it green. Same thing here, you go into conditional formatting, between, and in this case, since our desired percentage is 25%, we're gonna put it 20% to 30%. And we're, again, we're going to change that to green. So let's turn off the fill. Let's change it to green font. As you can see, that turns it green. And since it's going to be the same rule for bonds, we can just copy and paste there. Okay, and then let's say we get down here to real estate. We probably don't want to use that 5% rule. Uh, using the 5, 325, or 525 balancing rule. Sorry, I was thinking a lore tab or something there with 5, 325. But the 525 rule, what we would do is we would set this up. Uh, since 25% of 15% is 3.75%, we would want to set this up so that between 11.25% and 18.75%, it turns green. So again, we'll change the font to green, we'll turn off the fill, and that turns that one green. Same thing here with this uh, asset class, it's only supposed to be 5%. We don't want to wait until there's 10% in gold before we rebalance. We want to rebalance between uh, anytime it drops below 3.75% or goes above 6.25%. And so we'll change that rule again, the between rule. I'll make it 3.75% and 6.25%.
and we'll change it to turn the fill off and to make the font green. No big deal. Apply that. As you can see, everything is within uh, the bands we wish. We don't actually need to rebalance the portfolio at this time. Obviously, it's not perfectly rebalanced, as you can see. Um, but here with the uh, spreadsheet, you can see that um, you, know, you can make a uh, rebalancing spreadsheet pretty easily. All it takes is just a little bit of literacy with a spreadsheet program like Microsoft Excel. I hope that's helpful.